guest speakers today in this plenary session are Mike Wesch from Kansas State University and Sylvia Bonga from California, Berkeley. As you listen this morning to Mike and Sylvia, I would encourage you to do what you can to bring their voices into our conversation. I suspect there will be things that they say that you find make you just a little bit uncomfortable. You might want to challenge them. They might say things that help you understand more deeply some of your successes in the classroom or some of the things that have not gone quite so well. Please see their talks this morning as the opening gambits in this stage of the conversation about excellence in teaching at BC. So I'm really into this idea of, of wonder and curiosity, realizing that you know, uh, there's so much information I can deliver during a lecture, but if I can deliver inspiration, a sense of curiosity, motivation, and so on, then perhaps those students will engage in some kind of lifelong learning. But without a sense of wonder and curiosity, it is not the world's greatest knowledge machine, it's the world's most seductive distraction device. As uh, Thomas de Zingotito points out, in the midst of a fabulous array of historically unprecedented and utterly mind-boggling stimuli, whatever. <laughs> the highest factor is other students' computer use. So if you're trying to learn and the person next to you is shopping for shoes online, um, that's obviously going to impact you, in fact, just as much as your own computer use. The importance of playful learning, and the reason that playful learning is so important is that the ingredients of play are precisely those that we know promote learning. Very clear now that chronic stress of the kind that students have year in, year out, taking exam after exam, actually starts to shrivel a part of the brain that's really important for memory. I would say that there actually are really interesting questions coming out of these students that are not just about tests and grades and so on. And the big ones are things like, who am I? What am I going to do? Am I going to make it? This is what changed me so much this semester. That is, I decided to not use any grades. So instead, I imagine my students at the bottom of this great mountain, and at the top of the mountain, they put something that's worth it. And we all agreed that it was worth it. It was something we all cared about, something we all wanted to achieve. 